Hello guys, welcome to Moirids and today I will give you lots of paper graphic bundle that I love to use and teach you how you can make this type of cool animation. <laughs> To download the paper graphic bundles, first you need to visit the link provided in the description. After that, I will teach you. When you click something and another page open, make sure to return to your original page. Click on, click here to continue, then click on, click here to verify. Wait for 10 seconds. Then click on continue. After this, click on, click here to continue one more time. Wait for 10 seconds last time. Then click on get link. If the website open new other page, always return to your original page. And boom, you got all the paper graphic here. You can download it easily. Now let us start tutorial. This will be level 1, which will be easy. We will do all this thing in After Effects. First, let's choose any background. And then we will add paper graphic of alphabet letters. We will move the background here to the bottom and leaving the top layer aside we will hide all the others for a will then we will apply the color range effect to the topmost layer to remove its green background and we will also add the advanced peel spacer effect to completely remove any remaining green color from its edges then we will copy these two effects and paste them into the remaining paper graphic and then you can unhide it then we will adjust all this character i am adding the name of my channel Then arrange this layer in this style in the timeline so that they open one after the other like I am doing. After that pre-compose it. Since we need to increase its speed, right click on the mouse and go to the time option. Then go to the time stretch and change it from 100 to 60 so that it play a bit faster. Look at it something like this. It's a bit simple. Let's add something more, like I will draw a line here with the paint tool. And then we need to run a car on it. So let's add a paper graphic like a car and in its time setting, we will select the freeze frame option. So it remains static and does not animate. Then just like we did with the other paper graphic, we will apply the color range and advanced pale spatial effect to this one as well so that the green part are removed. Now we need to animate the position of this car. Go to this layer and press P on the keyboard to open the position property. Click on the stopwatch icon at the starting point to add a keyframe. Adjust the car to the desired position. Move to another point in the timeline and change the car positions again. This will add another keyframe. Now select both keyframe and apply a curve to them so that the animation is smooth. I am use flowchart plugin which make this process a bit easier now it's all like this but some things is missing we will add drop shadow effect to it increase the opacity increase the distance a bit and also increase its softness after that we will add a glow effect to it until the intensity of this effect and increase its radius like this now we will copy this two effect and paste them onto this card and also onto this line now it's look better after this we will select all of this and pre-compose them we want to add a zoom out animation to this click on this layer and press s on the keyboard Click on the stopwatch at the end point of timeline to add a keyframe. Go back to the starting point on the timeline, increase the size and add another keyframe. Select both keyframe and apply a curve to them. 
there you go now it looks right now let's move to level 2 we will do the same thing there add a background of your choice then select the circle in the set tools and turn off the fill option create circle and increase its stroke a bit like this next we need to go into the properties of this layer for the stroke width click on the stopwatch at the starting point to add a keyframe for it which i will increase its width slightly then go to the end point of the timeline and reduce its width to zero now we will animate its size as well press s and at the starting point of the timeline the size will be zero and the end point we will increase the size so it goes off screen then select the keyframe and apply a curve to them as well now it looks something like this we want to make it like a cartoon animation so we will add the turbulent display effect to it press t and reduce its opacity after that we will duplicate it once and then again arranging them in a way that it keep looping something like this now we will add our paper graphic i'm adding graphic of famous building Just like we did earlier, we will apply the color range effect to remove the green color. And also apply the advanced spill suppressor effect. After that, we will copy it and paste it onto the another buildings as well. Arrange all this building as you wish. I am doing it in a such way that they all open from the center, somewhat like this. Then group all this building together. To increase the speed a bit, go to the time option and change the time stretch value from 100 to 60 after this we need to write some text but before that we need to create a background like say go to the save tool select the three circle set its stroke to zero choose black color And create a circle like this now I want a zoom animation on this circle press S click on the wall at the second point on the timeline to create a keyframe then go back to the first point and set the size to 0 after that select both keyframe and apply a curve like this in this circle I will add the turbulent display effect if we look at it, this paper graphic is a bit old, so I will move it a bit forward in the timeline so it open after the circle. Now we can add text to it. Write whatever you want. I want to introduce some tourist place like park. After this, I will arrange the text. I don't like this font, so I will change it. This is the Jokerman font. This letter will look better in uppercase. Then, I will add another text welcome to and change its font as well. 
this part looks good now we will add animation to this text I am using animation composer plugin which provide a variety of text animations. You can download this plugin for free from any browser. With just one click this plugin apply animations saving a lot of time. Similarly I will add a different type of text animation to the other text. Now we will pre-compose this text and the black circle together. Similarly, we will pre-compose the background circles and the background. This way we have three groups. Now the bottom most group meaning the background group. We will add an effect called posterize time and set its value to 15 to reduce its FPS giving it a cool effect. Similarly, we will add it to the upper group but with slightly higher value, let's say 22. After this, I will apply the drop shadow effect with the same settings and add the glow effect with value that you look good to you. Then we will copy these two effects and paste them into the buildings group. Look, it's done. It uh, looks really good. Now let's move on to level 3. Here we will learn to use a 3D camera. First add any background. I want to create a commercial for a clothing brand. So I will add element related to that. Just like this. I will also add some text like shopping at versus and so on. Choose a font that you like, I choose this one and arrange the text accordingly. After this, select all these layers and press B. Click on the stopwatch at the second point in the timeline to add a keyframe. Then go back to the first point in timeline, change the position of all of them and apply a curve to create a smooth intro like animation. Now we will apply the drop shadow effect to this woman. and copy it to paste onto all other. Additionally, we will add a glow effect to this bulb and copy this and paste it onto board text. Then we will pre-compose all of them to create one group. Similarly, we need to create two more groups that show up one after the other. We will hide this group for a short bit. The first group was an introduction and the second group will showcase clothing varieties. I will add paper graphic of clothes and then continue doing the same things we have done before. Apply the same effect to remove the green color. Then arrange it in your own way. That's how I am doing. Next, we will add some text, pair up a brand, hashtag or slogan, whatever it is. I will write it down, then arrange it neatly and select a good font to make it look appealing.
I will pre-compose it and then add the usual drop shadow and glow effects as we often do. There we have our second group ready. Now we will hide this group as well and create third group. This group will be for the group section. Here we will add all the gift paper graphic at the third point in the timeline. Then as we have done before, we will apply the color range effect, advanced special special effect, copy, paste, add some text and apply an animation. I feel like I am repeating myself too much. I am getting bored by saying the same thing over and over. So please go ahead and do all these steps. Once you arrange everything nicely, you know what to do next. Apply the same drop shadow effect, glow effect, copy, paste and then you are done. We will pre-compose this as well to create the third group. Now we will unhide all the groups and add a camera layer like this. Then we will switch it to the 2U mode. Now you can see there are two screen here. We will set the right screen to active camera and the left screen to top. Now we can see the movement in the Z direction here. By holding down the space button, you can adjust it as per your preference, something like this. Then we will make all layers 3D by clicking on this button. We will touch the background layer and move it backward in the Z direction. We will select third group and move it backward too. For the second group, we will move it to the center. And the first group will stay in front. Next, we will increase the size of background because it moved it back and it's not visible. Now we will select the camera layer. I am not sure what is this point is, but we will move its focus point towards the background. Now we will select the camera layer and press B. We want to animate it in the Z direction. There are four points on the timeline. So we will place keyframe at the second point. At the first point, the camera will be slightly forward. At the second point, it will be at its normal position. At the third point, the camera will move to the closing section. And the fourth point, it will move to the gift section. You can see that I am only changing the Z value, not X and Y. Then we will select all the keyframe and apply curve like this. After that, our motion graphic for level 3 will be complete. 